Hi, it's Vicky here from Chelsea Brown Lettings and Sales. Um, we'd like to talk to you today about um, first time buyers and a guide really for first time buyers out there. Being a first time buyer can be quite a daunting and nervous experience as well as really exciting thinking about getting on that property ladder. So here at the sales team we have put a few tips together in order for you to um, just factor in a few points and ideas in um, making a decision and um, getting on that ladder. So number one, we would always advise you in the first instance to speak to um, a mortgage advisor or a mortgage broker just to understand as to what position um, you're in and how much you would be able to borrow from a lender. We would quite often advise you to go to a broker as opposed to maybe your, just your building society or your bank because a broker will actually advise you of all the products on the market, not necessarily just the products available at your branch um, of bank or building society. So um, they will ask questions, you know, such as how much do you earn, um, how much um, have you got debt-wise with regards to credit cards or HP on a car, and then they will advise you as to what your um, lending potential would be. So with that, they usually produce a document called an agreement in principle or a mortgage in principle, and that's the key document that we need as an agent in order to get the property off the market once you've decided you want to proceed, because that tells me that you're in a position to proceed and you'll be potentially um, loaned the money. So um, the next thing to consider is um, to maybe, or you might want to do this beforehand actually, is consider some uh, government incentive schemes such as a help to buy ISA. So certainly you will receive 25% in addition to what you're saving um, by using one of these government incentive schemes. It takes a little bit longer to, to kind of get to the point of exchange, um, but it's a fantastic scheme on offer to anybody that's looking for their first home. Um, thirdly, um, it's always an idea to factor in the costs. So the costs involved, of course, are your deposit. So as a first time buyer, you'll be typically asked for anything between five, 10 percent is normal actually, but between five and 20 percent of the purchase price. So that needs to be um, ready and available. Um, even if it's bank of mum and dad, you know, it, it needs to be um, quite accessible. Um, also other costs to factor in are things like um, legal fees, so your conveyance or solicitor, they will charge an honourable fee in order to get you through the process. Um, and we'd always suggest to get two or three quotes because the quotes can vary very differently from, from firm to firm. Um, but there's other, other costs involved such as removal costs. Um, and you know setting up utilities and, and all those kind of things so we'd certainly advise you to make a list of all the costs involved just to make sure that you don't sell yourself short and whether you're in rental at the moment um, that's another thing to think about if you're in a rented property just working out the rental payments you know where you are in your tenancy and then moving into a new property because there may be rent to pay at the same part of time that a mortgage payment is due um, so with all this in mind, um, there's quite a few things to, to think about, um, but it is really, really quite fun looking for the first property that you're going to move into. So have a look, start searching, view as many properties as you can. You're in a very good position as a first time buyer because there's no chain below. So um, that quite often is very appealing to a vendor because um, you're not coming with a big chain from, from underneath you. Um, so also what we would suggest is to register your interest on major portals such as Rightmove, Zoopla, on the market for a particular area that you're looking for or within a, to a certain budget because you will be notified the point a property is marketed by these portals um, so you can be hopefully one of the first to view. So um, when you found your perfect property, make an offer. Um, it's not un uncommon to have a, a slightly cheeky offer um, but usually within five to or 10% of the range of, depending on purchase price, um, is quite normal to, to make an offer. And then you kind of tend to meet the vendor somewhere in the middle. Um, and at the point an offer's accepted, a solicitor's needed. So again, like I said before, we always suggest that you get a couple of quotes from a few different firms, so that as soon as you found your perfect property, you can appoint the solicitor and you're good to go. So for any other questions or queries, um, comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Thanks for listening.